So you have now completed your design and you have tessellated it, you've planned your colors and ink, you are ready to start carving. So when you are ready for this step, you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you are going to take and trim out your trunk. So I don't wanna forget that my raised ink color is my white and the blue is my carved which would also be my paper color okay um, and you can also write this so I just jotted it down here you can also write it up top here for number four as well okay then you are going to get a triangle from the teacher um, of the printing plate material so you have an option um, it might not fit exactly so you could choose to center it and just extend your lines you could choose to um, trace around it and we can always trim it after the fact that's probably what I'm gonna do here and the first thing I want to do though is I want to tape this on here so I'm gonna pick areas where I don't have a lot of design Then I'm going to go to the teacher and I'm going to um, check out a needle tool. So when I'm working with the needle tool, work on one of these metal trays here. Anytime you're using the lino cutters or the needle tools, it helps to have the metal surface underneath so we don't accidentally carve into the table. So I'm going to take and draw where my edge is. Then I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going to trace my edges here. So I'm pressing firmly into the printing plate it might tear your paper and that's okay another way students like to do this is they like to poke little holes along the edge of their design um, they can't stand the feel of it ripping or if you have a smaller shape it might be easier to just poke the holes and then we can peel this off and then it's hard to see, but if you look closely, there's a little indentation. So what you're gonna do next is take and retrace those lines. Now keep in mind, any marks or indentations that you make into this printing plate, they will show up in the final. So you wanna take your time and be as accurate as possible. If you rush through this and make a lot of marks, they have the potential to show up in your final design if you're not careful. So that would be my design. And then I recommend making a C where you want to carve. So if I look here, remember, um, I'm gonna carve out my non-shape. So I'm gonna carve here, I'm gonna carve here, carve, carve, and then I'm gonna carve that area. So I find it helpful to put a little C where I want to carve. Now, for this extra that I don't want, I can either take my scissors, so this is actually a material that's really easy to trim, um, or if you're having trouble trimming it, just ask the teacher, and the teacher can help you with that, but I can trim off that extra printing plate to even out my edge a little bit there. Okay, so, once you have traced this, then you're going to go check in the needle tool again. And then it's time to start to carve. 